for today's cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. We're going to have a little bit of an open discussion, kid and I, because he's in between kidney stones, kind of, sort of. Uh, <laughs> I passed one, I think. Uh, yeah, you, you did. You just didn't see it. You you can ask them for Was one of those it? little strainers. That's shit. That's some shit. No, that's a different. That's a different strainer. Th- that's not what. <laughs> smart ass. Absolutely smart ass. Yeah, absolutely. It's better than being a dumbass in today's world. We have our quota on the dumbasses. So, if you got a choice, be a smart ass. <laughs> but. What I'm going to be discussing today is very loosely based on the headline Uh from uh, Daily Mail and by Sam Tonkin, August the 7th of 2027. My God, I have traveled into the future. (laughs) I have come back to tell you there is hope. There's hope. There's hope. I really don't know that, but I'm going to tell you that. (laughs) Because I'm on hope. I need hope. Yes. And the headline says, have scientists discovered a new species of human? Ancient skull belonging to a child with no chin who lived 300,000 so years ago. Breathers. Suggest our family tree needs another branch. No, they already exist. Those are the fucking mouth breathers. <laughs> if you've ever noticed their faces, they have no chin. Oh, it's always the fucking mouth breathers. So what they have done is they've, what archaeology has always done, they will find a few bits and pieces of whatever and make up this story that is just ridiculous. Right, right. And so this is why nobody knows what the the history of humanity truly is at this point because this shit is being suppressed yeah and kid and i had uh we watched recent videos and one of them wasn't lengthy at all by dr bruce lipton and he's been around forever yeah and just really cool amazing he is and i will put it out yeah, I will definitely put a um, link to his channel there. He doesn't post as often as I wish he would. How, and how Greg often does Brayton, he post? Uh, I don't know how, how often Dr. Lipton does. Does he post like once a week? I, I don't know. I don't know. If you if you grill me further, I still will not know. I'm trying to jog your memory <laughs> is what I'm trying to do. I ain't going to jog today. But then also Greg Brayton. And Greg Brayton does... Uh, they they would travel in similar circles, mm. and if, and several years back, we're talking like thirty years, being several years. Uh huh. Then I have been listening to these men's teachings. You have been. And at some point, they were considered new age. Why? Uh, they're not new age. Why it's um. It? Why do people label things new age? Because it goes outside mainstream spiritual beliefs, and a lot of this shit they throw There's the baby a lot out of with. Shit the... We don't understand. Absolutely. What the fuck? Absolutely. And these guys were talking about frequency and vibration and how all that stuff creates reality. Let us not forget Joe Dispenza. Yeah, and guess group. what? You can find on YouTube readily available all the yeah. time. Yeah. Frequencies that you sleep to. Absolutely. These people knew the truth yeah. long ago. And and so I think that's probably one of the reasons they got relegated to the New Age community. I don't agree with everything they say. I don't agree with everything that anybody says. Because I think for myself, if I'm agreeing with everything that somebody else says, I have ceased to think. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, there's things I I disagree with myself on. It causes me to have existential crisis that's perpetually. When take, that's when you take a step back and you're like, it ain't that deep. <laughs> you it really? ain't that deep. <laughs> <laughs> it's when I sit there and go, well, Linda, go get you another cup of coffee. <laughs> For real, honey. that's like... Just let, let me let me doodle a little bit. Let me let me take a step back here. Get you some good. coffee. Go have you a cigarette. Just sit there and watch the hummingbirds. Yeah. 
because you can you can you can get yourself especially when you go into realms like i do because i've done this my entire life that's part of where that's why where i, I go stay in the main and in it's the okay. realm that it's i do because it keeps me it keeps well, keeps I mean, me from I, losing my mind. But I drag you into some of these other things because you have, you have different insight, which I value. But even though we may not agree, you know. it's, uh, that's okay too. We're respectful about it. But um, Greg Braden and Doctor Lipman both had had recent videos about transhumanism, and you're like, "What has that got to do with archaeology?" It has everything. It's a flip side of the same coin. I'm pretty sure I saw one of those, like, fake people. Those NPCs, like, a legit NPC or something, except he did not look fully human. Like, mm -hmm. he looked like an avatar, almost. Like, mm -hmm. a, he looked like a damn Second Life character that was weirdly modeled. Yeah, there's a lot of, and, and we're going to see more weird things. But these archaeologists have like, supposedly... He did not look like a normal human. There's a lot the commercial. of commercial, yeah. But the, these people, it says that uh, the the experts at the Chinese Academy of Sciences have supposedly found limbs, skull cap, and jaw, which likely likely belong to a twelve or thirteen year old child. Then y'all don't know. Which seem to reflect more primitive traits. But on the flip side, the rest of the child's face had features more closely resembling modern humans. There are some fish. It's like we were talking the other day. Fish with faces. Fi Human-like faces. That does not make them human. No. And we have had generations now that have been taught that humans are just animals. And we are not. No, we're humans. But that's because we're they're trying to make us species. into livestock. Right. They are trying to take away the uniqueness of the experience of being human. Yeah. Which ain't going to work. And this is one of the reasons that we're having so many problems in our world today. Because if a person does not understand that they are here for a purpose... That they have that spark of the divine in them, ingrained in them, written on their DNA, then they're going to feel lost. Yeah, and so many people do. Yeah. So this is just another, for me, this is another psyop. I mean, it was just like Louis Leakey uh, years ago and the Lucy finding and all this stuff. And, oh, I've found primitive, primitive man. No, you didn't. You created a story. Yeah. Yeah. You found a bit of bone and, and created this huge bunch of bullshit. And we have got these supposed experts. People need to start asking questions. Where did they go to school? Where did they rank in class? Who taught them? What was the belief system of the people who taught these people? What message are they truly trying to promote? That is the question nobody ever truly asks. Well, and that's true of doctors. And it's like a friend of ours uh, the other day that was talking about a doctor that he had a really bad experience with. And she was giving him some kind of guff, which is not cool to begin with. And I told him, I said, next time, if you if you go back to see her, ask her where she graduated in her class if nothing else it'll shock the hell out of her yeah and she won't be able to answer it well and if she, she should, does she should because if you've got 500 graduating out of a class do you really want the doctor that graduated 500th no that's literally at the butt end of the class mm -hmm. that means they ain't doing shit that's going to be the secretary not the doctor so some of the secretaries know more than some of these people that's got a name tag on. Yeah, but back in the day, that's not how it went. Right. Right. So the same thing with any of these other quote-unquote expert question. Ask them. Ask. Question everything. Yeah. Now, those of us that were born in the 60s, that used to be a mantra. Question everything. And now we have had the psyops kick in to the point that it's just sit down, shut up, I'll tell you what to think, 
And my God, we have seen what has been happening lately when people have questioned that they're imprisoning people. Yeah. That's real. horrifying. That's it, that's unconstitutional. It is unconstitutional. And that is that is a violation of human rights. Well, in a way. yeah. It, it it is. It is because you know, even as far as the freedom of speech, freedom of thought, freedom to have a different opinion. Yeah. It's like, damn, people are allowed to think, but people are scared if they think too far. Right. Right. So who are the they that are putting these limitations on humans? And it was what Greg Braden was talking about. He was discussing that as a species, we don't even know our capabilities because we have been so dumbed down. And we truly have. And that is sad. And it's a matter of reclaiming our humanity. That's something that all of us need to pray for. We need to strive for. Work within ourselves. It's awesome to be human. And Bruce Lipton, when he was talking about as far as the frequency and that these bodies that we're in, that these are sort of like the radio uh, receivers right so that we can taste and touch and smell and just all these wonderful things yeah to experience this planet but when you've got the the it's the voice of satan the media and all these people telling you it's like the convincing people that they are a plague on this planet that they're a harm to the planet. Are there some that are, that's doing bad things that need to be stopped? Yes. Yeah. That's why we have laws. We need to go back to just laws. We need to reclaim common sense. We need to reclaim to think for ourselves. No right from wrong. Yeah. Because that is very that is something everybody needs to know is what's right from wrong. You honest to God, you have people that that have never and it's not even a matter of as far as uh christianity the ten commandments you know don't murder people don't steal from people don't go around cheating on your spouse all these different things like that there are people that have never heard that which is incredibly sad it is because it's like <sighs> Who taught you? Right. And it's not just Christianity that teaches those things. And and it was something as far as learning about the uh, Muslim faiths and even as far as the Hindu faiths. There are basic tenets that are the same. Don't do bad things to other people. No. If you don't want bad things done to you. Right. You know, treat others that's how you of, want to be treated. Right, that's sort of a universal thing, but it's not being taught. No, that is a human thing. Show each other love. Show each other compassion, because forgiveness, the, empathy. Because the people who are currently in power are not human. No, they're not. They they very much are in league with uh, the enemy. These fallen angels. Yeah. Different things like that that want to destroy humanity. And how sad is that? It is that remarkably is, sad. And it's not only sad, it's fucking terrifying. It is terrifying. We are in perilous times. Because if you have an individual out there that they are deceived and they are lost, they feel like they have no place in this world, they have no purpose, that's dangerous. Yeah. And it that they, really is. Where they have gotten, tried to get rid of God, then they're putting man as, that's why people are following other people. They don't, and the thing is, the humans that are following this shit, they, honest to God, do not realize to the extremes they are stepping on God's toes right now. Right. Which is a very dangerous territory to step on. Well, it, it is that... Uh, Luciferian thing do what you will 
do what you want to do. That's but it, he that, gave us free will, all right. He, but it's like God there are gave consequences us free for will. our actions, right? That's the part that the devil never told Eve. Oh, you won't die. Because I'm sure that he it was so she did not physically die. It was a spiritual death, which was a separation from God. Yeah. Which so is not what God doing? wanted. Mm -mm. And it's just like as far as some of the quotes uh, I've been using lately, you know, I, I use good reads or some of these different things I can uh, type in like propaganda, quotes about propaganda. Mm -hmm. And the one I had used on the previous cup was about, uh, you know, psyops, you know, psychological operations and it's spiritual warfare. It's the same thing. Yeah. It came from Goebbels. What is that? He was he was over the propaganda for the Nazis. Oh shit! Yeah. You well, no wonder we're now, literally you, MK thought, Ultra in the television. Well, MK Ultra and stuff came after you know Operation Paperclip when they brought a lot of those scientists here to this country. Yeah, to try to save their asses, which was not. Well, they wanted the technology. That's the devil and overplaying his hand. It, well, it's, it is the devil over. He, had, he does always overplay his hand, but there's a lot of people that can get hurt in the meantime. Yeah, that is true. And there's a lot being revealed. But it's also a matter of calling out bullshit to sit there. And I think it, one of the quotes, and I don't have it in front of me, that uh, for evil to triumph, all it takes is for good, good men to do nothing. And that's where people, they're trying to scare people into silence. And it ain't working because they're rebel they're, they're screaming louder. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Screaming from the, from the rooftops. And, and pray for these people that are deceived because they have no clue what they're doing. You've got a lot of people that honestly are mentally impaired right now. For real brain damage. Uh-huh. So it, it's one of those speak lawfully, lawfully, to do things in a lawful manner. Mm -hmm. Not only of the land, but also God's law. Yeah. So, but as far as them finding new species of human, bullshit, they flat didn't out. do that. Because... It may have been a human that was a birth birth defect. It could have been a birth defect. And it was what somebody had commented on the article. That if you had somebody that had a birth defect. That they would have to have all these different species. And they've got this supposed timeline of evolution. That's because Evolution has <coughs> always been a lie from the pit of hell. Yeah. They really are trying to do that soft disclosure and trying to mesh those fake beings into reality. We mm -hmm. already got two people freaking out on planes. Mm -hmm. And nobody is even talking about the Asian dude that freaked out. Right. That, that was what you were talking about. I had heard something about it, but not the same as the one lady. But it was a similar thing, wasn't it, that he had claimed that someone that was on the plane was not human. Yeah. Did you watch the video? No, I haven't. Oh, why not? I well, figured you would have had by find now. it. No, I did. And I was, you know, my mind, it's very busy in my mind. I it figured really with is. something like that, you would have been on it. No, I actually had, hadn't seen that. But now they had, the, the lady with the, on the plane, they have hounded her until they have finally named her. And now they're claiming that it was, that it started over earbuds and that it was a family member who had taken earbuds. Bullshit. That's Bullshit. Not true. You don't get up and, and say, I'm leaving the plane. You all can stay here if you want to and die. That is not over an earbud. No. They're, they're, they're pulling shit out of their ass and it's Absolutely. not working. Absolutely. And and as we talk about these things and we discuss these things and we, we say the unspoken parts, that's where we get strength as humans. Humans are the only one that have the power of speech. 
We are a separate creation. We are. We're not animals. Yeah. We are our own. So, with this archaeology thing, like I said, it's just flat out bullshit. Don't, don't fall for it. Don't. And I will tell you, folks, I have discovered that this new, where I can go on that, that community thing and make those little posts. <laughs> You're having a lot of fun with I that. I am going to, I'm just now, I have so many ideas to be a shit poster. That, that's a, that it was on my bucket list was to be a shit poster. And I can do it now. You can. I can. Kid, final and you're very thoughts. excited. I am excited. I am excited. That motherfucker is not real. Yeah, that was not over an earbud. Not in the least. <sighs> Y'all should, don't you be should deceived. really find that commercial I'll that I was tell, telling you about. And I don't even know what it was about now. But seriously, if you saw the dude attention. in it, you would be like, that's not a human. And it wasn't an AI thing. No, I don't think. When I tell you something, as he far looked as, uber real, which computers cannot get that real. Well, now even we, with our we, with the technology that we have, they can't get that real. There are the hybrid creatures that they have been working on for generations now. They're here. Again, those are the ones that are human, but not quite. Some of them good guys, some of them bad guys. And it's like, God, please give us discernment. Yeah, for real. Yeah. So if you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And I will put a link to the article uh, that we referenced slightly, vaguely. Yeah, slightly. Plus uh, to uh, Greg Braden and, and Dr. Lipton's channels. Mm -hmm. And Joe Dispenza. Joe Dispenza. Do you know where your ass is in space? space? He doesn't actually say that part. No, though. he doesn't. We made that up. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all and have a good. If anything inside or outside tells you that you are anything other than a beloved child of the Most High God, you know that that is a lie straight from the pits of hell and rejected. You are loved. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Yes. Bye. Bye.